Well, they may be the number two seed in the upcoming SAC Holiday Tournament, but Bishop Lures may have established itself as the front runner in the conference heading into tonight. Last Friday, the Knights opening SAC play with a double digit win at Southside. Tonight, Lures taking on a Concordia program that's, oh, you know, just won two state titles in the last four seasons. Pick it up in the third, Allison Butler of Lures with the layup right there, but Concordia. Countering, Naya Kelly inside puts the cadets up seven there. They would lead by eight heading into the fourth quarter. In the fourth, DeJure Young hitting the glass, gets the bucket here on the put bag. But with 40 seconds left, Emma Wolf with a bucket down low. That would cut the lead to two with 33 ticks to go. Now, final seconds, cadets up by three. Lewis has the ball. They need the heave to go for the tie to send it to OT. It does not as Concordia hangs on at Lewis 46-43. The last minute, we really wanted to play tough and with intensity and just have really good defense without fouling. Um, we knew we could do this by working together, and I'm so glad the little ones uh, stepped up and got it, got it done. Next up, Lures is at Hamilton Southeastern. That's tomorrow, Concordia at Columbia City on Tuesday. That should be a good one. Hey, how will Southside bounce back from last week's conference loss to Lures? Well, the Archers were at Bishop Glenger, and we would find out early and often. Juanita Goodwell squad with a comfortable lead at half. Chelsea Rogers in the third with the pull up. The Dwangers, Michelle Adgalanis with a sweet spin move. Nice bucket there for the Saints, but South was in control. However, you're going to see BD Sierra Fisher on the putback for the Saints, but simply too much South. Because Lake and Gully, she's a good one. The senior with the bucket. South winds going away. 85 to 38. How about this one? Could Snyder keep pace with the conference leaders? Panthers at Wayne. Fourth quarter, Deja Wimby going coast to coast. Nice lane for the easy two. Wayne countering with Carmen James. Watch this. It's fundamentally sound. The dribble drive then off the glass. You gotta love that if you're a coach. But simply too much Snyder tonight. Deja Wimby. Ooh, they were feeling their oats, weren't they? Wimby drives, gets the deuce and the abuse as Snyder wins at Wayne, 55-43. Northrop, don't look now. They were looking to go 2-0 in conferences. The Bruins hosting Northside. Fourth quarter action. Pick and pop. Canley Stuller cans the jumper, but Northside down 45-16 at that point. Bruins closing strong and doing it behind Nevada Jones. Off the backdoor cut with the easy two. Later, it's Jones weaving her way to the basket. As Northrop wins this one big, ooh, 53 to 17, now 2 0 in conference. We're jumping out of the SAC, Canterbury ranked fourth in this week's state poll. The Cavs at Blackhawk. Near the end of the second quarter, Blackhawks' Olivia Byler with the long two, but it would be the Braves trailing by 18 at the break. Third quarter, Canterbury's Kendall Fincher. Oh, she's one of the candidates for missed basketball, the Xavier signee. Had 20 points to lead the Cavs. Then it's Canterbury's Mason Van Houten with the long two. Darby Maggard would have 17 of this one as Canterbury wins 74-33. Huntington North looking to stay unbeaten in NCC play as the Vikings taking on Richmond. Maddie Canada. She's going to highlight Oak Staples so far early this season. Drives in for two as the Vikings looking good. How about Sarah Fryman passing to Alyssa Hippel. That's a bucket. We're going to see more from Huntington North. Maddie Clender. With the steal and the drive, you're all seeing these Huntington North highlights. Unfortunately, it would not be the best night for the Vikings as they are beaten by Richmond 71-48. to Coming up, we got more Highlight Zone, including Comets action, IU basketball, and your play of the week. We're the Bishop Warrior Saints! Merry Christmas, and this is the Highlight Zone! Yeah!